Education Galaxy presents Greatest Common Factor and Least Common Multiple. Before we start, let's watch a review of how to find the GCD and LCM and what they are. So we're going to talk about how to find the greatest common factor and the least common multiple. So first you need to understand what those are. So GCF is the greatest common factor and that is the largest number, largest number that is a factor of both numbers. Okay, so that is the definition of the greatest common factor. So what is the definition of the least common multiple? It is the smallest positive number that is a multiple of both numbers. So how do we find them? Really, whether you're going to do the greatest common factor or the least common multiple, your first step is to do a factor tree of the numbers. And then from there, you can find both the greatest common factor and the least common multiple. So let's look at an example. So we want to find the greatest common factor between 18 and 60. So in order to do this, I'm going to find the prime factorization of both of these numbers. So let's start with 18. So 18 is 2 times 9. 9 is 3 times 3. So the prime factorization of 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. Okay, then let's look at 60. So 60 is 2 times 30. 30 is 2 times 15. And 15 is 3 times 5. So the prime factorization of 60 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. So now that I have the prime factorization of both, what I'm trying to do is find the greatest common factor, or the largest number that is a factor of both of them. So let's see what factors they have in common. So they both have a 2, and then they both have a 3. But since 18 doesn't have a number 2, another 2, and 60 doesn't have a number 3, that's it. So the greatest common factor is going to be 2 times 3, which is 6. Okay, so now let's look at the least common multiple between 18 and 60. So I've gone ahead and rewritten down their prime factorization. So 18 is 2 times 3 times 3, and 60 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Now to find the least common multiple, which is, remember, the smallest positive number that is a multiple of both, the easiest way is to just go ahead and write down one of their prime factorizations, because you're going to have to have all of those factors in order for the number to be a multiple. So we have 2 times 3 times 3. So I I chose to write it down for 18. So that was the prime factorization of 18. So now how does 60 work into this? So when we look at this, 60 has a 2, it's already taken care of, but 60 had another 2 which is not taken care of. So I need to add that one in. 60 has a 3 which is already taken care of. You had the 3 and you had the 2. And then 60 had a 5 which is not taken care of, so I have to add that one in. So now let's look and see what we have. We have 2 times 3 times 3, which is 18, and then we have times 2 times 5, which is 10. So the least common multiple is 180. Another way to find GCF and LCM is to make lists. Let's look at how to do it that way and check out some application problems. There are specific instances in which tell us to find the greatest common factor. Those instances include when you're trying to split things into smaller sections, to equally distribute two or more sets of items into their largest grouping, or to arrange something into rows or groups. There are also specific instances in which we know to find the least common multiple. These instances include situations about an event that is or will be repeated over and over, to purchase or get multiple items in order to have enough, or to figure out when something will happen at the same time. Let's try some examples. Problem 1. Naveen cleaned the kitchen and living room on the same day. He cleans the kitchen every 9 days and the living room every 6 days. What is the fewest number of days that will pass before both rooms are cleaned again on the same day? In this problem, we're trying to figure out when something will happen at the same time again. So we'll need to figure out the least common multiple. Let's find the least common multiple of 9 and 6. First, let's list the multiples of 9. We get 9, 18, 27, 36, 
45, 54, and 63. We'll stop there for now. Now let's write the multiples of 6. 6, 12, 18. 18 is the first factor they have in common, so our answer is 18 days. Let's try another problem. Problem 2. Corbin has two pieces of cloth. One piece is 12 inches wide and the other piece is 8 inches wide. He wants to cut both pieces into strips of equal width that are as wide as possible. How wide should he cut the strips? In this problem, we're splitting things into smaller sections, so we want to find the greatest common factor of 12 and 8. Let's list the factors of 12. We get 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. The factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, and 8. The largest number they have in common is 4, so our answer is 4 inches. You are now prepared to try some problems of your own. Remember to check what information the problem is giving you and what information the problem is asking for.